Hello family, this is Kimberly Purpose and welcome to my channel. Welcome lovelies. Uh, today I wanted to do another video about um, spirituality and meditation. I um, want to talk about um, my transformation that I'm going through. I, for all y'all don't know, I, I was brought up as a Christian, but I've been transforming and um, changing and evolving as I become more closer um, to spirituality and everything. <laughs> and I guess you could say that I am awakening to a lot of things, especially since I've been doing a lot of research and learning more about my heritage and my indigenous roots. I've been wanting to learn more about, you know, my heritage. And so being that my, my family is from Creek and Creek and Cherokee, you know, according to my grandmother, I decided to do, do more research and studying. I become more open to understanding more about spirituality, um, starting to want to change and do something totally different and follow a different path. That's why I've been doing uh, a lot of prayer and meditation with angel cards, angel cards and different praying cards. I've mostly been working with um, Doreen Virtue's card deck. But no, given that I am Aborigine American and I've been wanting to do more cards that taps more as to, you know, to me because I noticed that a lot of the um, angel cards and the oracle cards tend to be heavily Europeanized. And I wanted to tap more into, you know, oh me, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know if I blanked out or not, but sorry about that. If the screen shift, I apologize. I hit the wrong button, but I want to continue. But what I was saying was, I... You know, the cards are heavily Europeanized and they're geared towards, you know, Caucasians. And I want to, you know, there's a sh not really a lot of cards with people of color on it, praying cards. So I'm trying to get more cards that's more nature, nature scene type cards that has less of that Europeanized, you know, Caucasian energy. Because the whole point of praying and meditating is to bring more energy, positive flow of energy towards yourself and towards your own ancestors and connecting more with nature. And so I chose the butterfly card from um, Doreen Virtue's angel card deck. And here it is right here. Here's the butterfly card. I decided to try these instead, um, instead of the, uh, you know, the Caucasian ones, <laughs> you know, because I think it's very important to um, pray with cards that you know resonate with you as a person and as an individual. And that's what I was also doing. Like, um, I started creating my own card decks, you guys. <laughs> Um, because, you know, I just noticed that there were, you know, I wanted to something, I just felt something was missing. So that's why I decided to start playing around, you know, I'm very creative. I like to, um, draw and paint and everything for fun. And so I decided, Hey, I decided to create my own card deck. And that's something that maybe you guys can do too, you know? You know, it's a great project, it's a great art project. And if you haven't found a card deck that resonates with you, you can create your own. And that's what I'm doing. I decided to create my own card deck. And I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek of what mine look, look like. Don't laugh. Because <laughs> uh, this is just a, a draft, you know, I've been playing around with. And um, this is what mine look like. <laughs> I'm just going to show you that one. Um, yeah, and I did a, a, a drawing on the back, you know. I'm not quite finished with them, you know. But he, that's that's what 
my first no what this is the very first ones that I created so I'm playing around with it and and practicing and creating my own cards I'm gonna make, create my own homemade cards and see how it works for me and see if I can get more of insight uh, intuitive insight and hear more from you know the angels, Archangel Michael, Yahweh, and see what resonated with me and connecting more with nature, just like our ancestors did. You know, those types of things. It's very fun. It's very therapeutic. And so I decided to create um, my own deck. And I'll, I'll keep you guys posted to see how it goes. And um, who knows, if I get better at it, if it really does what well, I might, if I feel like confident enough <laughs> i might sell it who knows <laughs> i don't know i haven't decided yet that's further down the road but i'm just playing around experimenting um praying trying to connect with spirituality with god um with yahweh and to get a more clearer direction of where i'm supposed to go with this and especially with my new focus now with uh, focusing on the historic aspect of the Aborigines here in America. And I just, this video, I sort of wanted to touch on Doreen Virtue's card. I'm sorry I got a little long with it, but I wanted to show you what my little art project that I was doing. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to just give you all a review. I'm not going to do a reading on this card. Maybe next time I'll do another um, angel card reading. No, this is not an angel card reading, but a butterfly deck reading, just for the fun of it. Uh, more than just fun, but just to tap more, you know, practice more on tapping into your intuition, your inner self, your inner being, being tapping into Yah, Yahweh, and understanding more about, you know, spirituality and meditating to get more clear divine, you know, answers as to right directions, you know, and everything. But this card deck, I was saying, is really good for life changes. If you're going through any type of change in your life, um, whether a new job, a new career, um, new relationships, you know, these are the card decks for you. Perfect, perfect, perfect for that. Um, if you're moving or anything health issues this is the perfect card deck they you know i think this is great and i like how she has beautiful colors of butterflies on each card which is wonderful i love the pictures i love the um the gold edging here's a beautiful butterfly on the back um yeah very good card deck i like i like it and i think it's a great card deck for beginners if you're just starting out with um, praying cards is a great card day. And what I like about it is non-denominational. It's not, you can be pretty much any religion, you know, have any religious background to be able to use this card because it taps more into nature. And uh, that's why I said this is perfect for Aborigines who don't want that Europeanized type feel, you know, of images, but tapping more into nature. This is great card for that and i got this card on amazon.com um and it sh was shipped to me so it was great and yeah i think this is a great card day the thing is me for me i like to use this card in conjunction with other cards so i can get a more detailed and more expanded reading so as you you'll probably see what i'm talking about if you start doing your own praying cards and meditation cards you might start realizing you start to outgrow certain cards or need more you know clarity and more details you might want to get a different card deck to go along with this to supplement it to get a more detailed and accurate reading but i enjoy these card decks you know i i I pray um, every day. I try to pray every day. <laughs> you know, it's very important to stay connected with your angels, to stay connected with Yahweh, to stay 
connected within yourself to bring balance and clearness as to which way you want to go. But I love card decks, uh, uh, angel cards, and nature cards like these um, to, you know, to pr get prayer and guidance in my life. It's really good. And along with the, you know, if you, whatever religion you are, read the Bible, me, I'm thinking about getting the Torah, you know, so I can see, you know, try that out as well. You know, I'm doing some soul searching, you know, but if y'all, you know, I'm still learning and growing as I go. And like I said, I'm just sharing some of the, my experiences. I, I feel a great difference in myself. You know, more enlightenment, more empowerment. Um, when I start praying to Yah, Yahweh, um, you know, and having uh, cards to that resonate more with me, and the idea of creating my own is a great idea. But I would love to hear from you guys. I can go on and on, <laughs> and if I did, I apologize. But, uh, you know, I can always talk about stuff like this <laughs> because they fascinate me. But um, please like this video and thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. I have a Black Junction channel on um, Black Junction TV TV. It's a link. My link is below. Um, I have a PayPal for donations. Also, uh, go find me as well um about some of the pro no the projects that I'm working on and trying to bring us all together as Aborigine Americans. Um American Aborigines. <laughs> so if you have any other ideas for prayer and meditation, I will definitely appreciate it. Any um suggestions on mediums for praying and meditating and also connecting with Yah, Yahweh. Oh, well, God, that would be perfect. And um, if you know of any other card decks, you know, and if you have created your own, I would like to hear about that as well. And I'll, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I look forward to um, talking to you guys. Peace, family, and be best. Bless. Bye-bye. <laughs>